Hey everybody, hello. Whoops, I didn't mean to bump that. How are you doing? How are you feeling? It is a windy, stormy day out right now. Um, you, you might be able to see um, the island is a little bit, uh, let me see if I can, let me see if that will work. Hmm. Nope. I don't know what that is. We're just going to leave it. How's that? Oops. Nope. Cancel. Cancel. I don't know how to, oh, there we go. Um, so welcome, welcome to weekly Q and A. We have all been uh, showing up here for almost five years now, over four years. And we talk about healing from complex trauma. Um, and what we're gonna do today is a little bit different. Hello to Tracy. And hello to Slavic Princess. And hello to John Harvey and Hunter. Hello, hello. Hello, Poppy. So what we're gonna do today is a little bit different. Oh, Audrey. Hello, Audrey. Great to see you. Um, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. So hello to Nora. Hi, Tabby. Great to see you. We've been showing up here for over four years. We talk about healing complex trauma. And oftentimes the most helpful discussions are those that are going on in the chat box. Now that is with the exception of when someone comes to chat and they are in a state of crisis and they're not even sure they're in a state of crisis. All they know is they're reaching out in a desperate need for help. And perhaps they're not familiar with the format or it's their first time even searching the internet for help. And, and it can just be a really disorienting thing. So we're gonna talk about ACEs today. ACEs are adverse childhood experiences. And if you go to aces2high.com, you'll be able to take a a 10 question survey and you'll be able to find out your ACEs score. And there's a second survey that you can click around and find and it's where you will find your resilience score. So if you want to do that, please do. It's not absolutely necessary to take part in this conversation. The conversation we're having here today is one of encouragement support, validation. Um, we are here to stand beside one another and to show support to one another if we are adults who have experienced adverse childhood experiences as per the ACEs, the acestohigh.com. If you're a practitioner and you're here and you are a trauma-informed practitioner and you administer care to other complex trauma survivors, welcome, you're also welcome here. Maybe you're a survivor yourself. There is a great website called acesconnection.com and that's a place where you can get all kinds of really great resources on healing from complex trauma, healing symptoms of complex trauma, healing from adverse childhood experiences, and they have great resources on prevention as well. So YouTube is never a place for crisis support. So if in fact you, you are in crisis or you're feeling as though you might need help immediately, Poppy will list the crisis hotline information for you so that you are able to receive the care you deserve. So 
I really want to make sure you know that you deserve trauma-informed care. This live stream discussion, uh, we're just going to look at the ocean together today. Why, am, why are we looking at the ocean? Why am I not sitting in my office with the camera turned around at me? I will tell you why. Because what works for me when I'm feeling overwhelmed is looking at the ocean. I don't necessarily like to be in the ocean. I don't necessarily like to be on the ocean. The ocean, being in the ocean sometimes isn't my favorite and being on the ocean in a boat is not my favorite because I get seasick. But I will tell you that being about, you know, quarter mile, half mile away from the ocean and looking at the ocean, it really does help me. It puts me in a different state of mind. It helps me to breathe. It helps me to feel grounded. I was gonna have the, we were gonna sit outside today and do this, but it is so windy that it was, I, I tested it and it was just a horrific, horrible, windy sound. And I didn't want you all to have to sit through that windy, horrible sound while we all share our self-care resources. So thank you for joining the conversation. This is a live stream discussion. And what we are discussing, what works for us? What helps us to heal? For me, one of the greatest things that I can do for myself as self-care is to get in the car and go for a drive, look at the ocean, things I can do. I also have been eating healthier, eating more whole foods, more uh, plants, more vegetables. I've been hydrating more, drinking more water, taking more, just taking better care of myself, trying to get more rest. Um, and those are the things that work for me. But I'm not here to talk about myself. I'm here to shine a spotlight on the real superheroes here, which are you, you the community. Hello to Up Yours Narc. So great to see you. Hello, oh, it's moving so fast. Hello, John Harvey. Hello to Matt. Yeah, I'm gonna be hanging out in the chat box here with you all tonight. And um, if I happen to miss anything, then they'll let me know. And hi, great to see you. Um, great to see you, Hunter. Um, if I miss anything, then don't worry. I will mention it next week or I will record a different video or something. But I want you all, tell me what works for you. Hello to Deborah. Hello to Shannon. Great to see everybody. So what works for you? What helps you heal? It is wonderful to know that you have the ability to practice self-care. It is wonderful to know that you are able to affect change in your own life by simply reaching out, connecting with someone, or going for a drive, or looking at the ocean, maybe looking at some birds, uh, like I love to take videos of the little birds that I feed in the mornings or like the little birds that are, you know, hanging out around the area I live in. These are things that help me. They help me to feel grounded. Um, right now it's whale season. So, um, you might, you guys might see some whales jumping by those palm trees because, because it happens. They're everywhere, but it's hard to, to tell which one's a whale unless unless it's a full breach and it jumps out as you'll see the white caps and it will look as though that might be a whale breach. So, um, but share with me, share with everyone. Poppy's driving, so Shannon is here. Hello, hello, thank you, Shannon. So Nora says, going to the Gulf Coast in Texas and doing some fishing. Also, meditative prayer. That is so awesome, Nora. That is great. I've never been Gulf Coast in Texas, but I would love to. I would absolutely love to see it. And I do love meditated prayer. Uh, meditated prayer can work for anyone, regardless of your beliefs. 
just being in a in a state of restful breathing, just focusing on your breath is something um, that can help anyone in their self-care, help them to heal. Deborah says, I haven't found anything that uh, consistently that works. Ooh, that's tough, Deborah. That's tough. I know consistency is what will we will we will feel the the benefits of self care if we're if we're consistent. It's a really hard thing, um, especially if we're living in a in a situation where, you know, if we have an exorbitant amount of stress or we're you know interacting with different types of people, it can be really hard to find that groove. Sending you lots of support, Deborah. John Harvey says music helps me. And watching music videos or listening to the radio helps with my mood. I love music. I am listening to music all day, every day, or I'm singing all day, every day. One of the two. I'm either listening or singing. I love that, John Harvey. Up yours, Narc says, I ask myself every day what it is I need to do today to feel okay. Do I need more water, more sleep? Do I need a day of no social media? I ask it out loud. That is the greatest practice. That's wonderful. Ooh, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. There I go. I didn't mean to get my finger in the way of the beautiful view. I just needed to take a screenshot of that. That's a great best practice. That is so awesome. So asking ourselves out loud every day, what is it that we need to feel okay? Do I need more water? Do I need more sleep? Do I need a day of no social media? That's a great, great best practice. Hello to Ashton. Tracy Jarrett says, music helps some, but I'm awful about going backwards to my bet to my bad habits when things get bad. Oh, you will build resilience over time, Tracy. Please don't, please don't give up on that. Oh, Nora says, next time I'm in Texas, we get to go to the Gulf Coast for sure. I'd love that. My daughter's gonna be there. My daughter-in-law is gonna be there soon. I think. Or maybe no, maybe it's Hunter says, uh, Elise says that yoga helps and Hunter says coloring works for me with hypervigilance symptoms and writing helps me with grief, getting the emotions out. I've heard so many wonderful things about yoga, especially trauma sensitive yoga. My girlfriend Claudia is a trauma sensitive yoga instructor. We're, we need to do some more videos. We did, we've only done one in like the history of this channel. We've only done one video together and I swear we need to do more. I agree with coloring Hunter type stuff. It's like super important, you know? And that's wonderful that, um, that the grieving process is in place with you when you write your emotions down. That's good, that way we're not numbing, stuffing, and avoiding you guys. If this video is helpful, thank you for giving it a thumbs up. I really appreciate you writing that out, um, Shannon. That's wonderful. Hunter says, music is amazing. Hey, Jeffrey Sherman. Jeffrey Sherman says, hello, fine peoples. Well, hello to you. Yes, so happy you're here. We're talking about self-care and what works for you. John Harvey says, uh, so is gaming. I just got the new Resident Evil 2 game. So yeah, people play video games all the time for self-care. Ashton, uh, Ashton Smith says, self-care can be so hard. I'm currently fortunate enough to be, oops, working here we go i'm currently fortunate enough to be working and balancing life with cptsd and being able to achieve all i desire at work is a constant struggle yes ashton when we're multitasking and we're trying to heal and we're working it is so much that's why we're having this video tonight where we're looking out at the ocean because i just needed I think I needed it. I think I needed to just be able to look at the ocean and talk to you guys. This is my happy place here. August says, music helps me. Oh, and I like Matt. I like Matt's podcast too. I love Matt's podcast. I agree. Yes, that's definitely part of my self-care regime. Great. That, that is great, August. Music and Beyond Your Past podcast. I agree. Totally. 
Shannon says hello. Oh, Firestar. Firestar says warmth, weighted blanket, sunshine, audiobooks, and YouTube videos. Ooh, that sounds awesome. I love audiobooks. I love looking at sunshine but not being in it. Does that make sense? Like, like I feel like I'm still healing my skin from all the sun damage from when I was a kid and being forced to be outside, you know? And I've heard so many wonderful things about weighted blankets, you guys. Like, seriously. That's awesome. That's great, Firestar. Deborah says, I like anything to do with water. Oh, that's wonderful. I wonder, do you like to go swimming, Deborah? I like going swimming, but I think I prefer swimming in like a, like a pool rather than the ocean. I'm not a huge, o I like snorkeling sometimes, but not always. Joey says, jigsaw puzzles help me stay focused and staying in the present and coloring helps me relax. I just finished putting together a jigsaw puzzle that I can color. Ooh, it's like the best of both worlds. That is so awesome, Joey. These are great ideas, you guys. Ashton says, writing poetry really, really helps me to channel hurtful feelings into something creative and transformative. Being able to illustrate and create something new. That is so awesome, Ashton. I love, I will read poetry books. Like, I will just go, like I remember when we used to have a Barnes and Noble, I would go and I would just read poetry. Oh, that's awesome. I've almost helped soothe my inner child. That's a great act of self-care, Hunter. That is so wonderful. Oh, Deborah says, I like puzzles too. Yeah, I love puzzles and I love playing games. Hunter says, good idea, Joey, putting them together. Absolutely. John Harvey says, stuffed animals are amazing. Yes, so cute and healing. Hello, Wally. Welcome, welcome. Great to see you. Matt says, Indeed, August podcasts can be a great form of self-care. Thanks also for listening. I appreciate it greatly. Joey says, I agree, Hunter. It was really hard putting the jigsaw puzzle together. It was a challenge with all of the pieces being black and white. Oh my gosh, that had to be really, really difficult. Seriously. You conquered it. Good job. Hunter says, good job, Joey. Oh, Deborah says, I went swimming today in a pool. That sounds so lovely. Up Your Snark says, swimming is so therapeutic. Ashton says, same goes for playing music for me. So crazy to me that we can channel very real emotions just by different compositions of sound and lyrics. I know it is so, it's like astonishing the different ways we can communicate and express ourselves. Lots of hellos to Wally. Hunter says, swimming rocks. Yeah. Uh, John Harvey says uh, good shows like Doctor Who can help you forget your troubles. I know. Um, I love that show. Um, oh, what's that show? Uh, the Good Doctor. I, ha I don't watch Doctor Who. Um, I've never watched that. Um, one of my abusers actually loves Doctor Who. And so I just for some reason like associate the two. So I don't watch Doctor Who, but I watch this one show called The Good Doctor and I really like it a lot. Nora says journaling helps. Just writing what comes to my mind and letting it all out. That sounds wonderful, Nora. Ashton says, mmm, swimming, heck yeah. Yeah, so awesome, you guys. Jeffrey Sherman says, me too. I like seeing the sunlight but I have sensitive skin. It's funny how we're alike in obscure ways. <laughs> we are. Thank you for being here, Mama Berathina. Aw, a little relatability is so comforting. Aw, I'm so happy to know that, Jeffrey. You're so welcome. I'm so glad that you're here as well. Uh, Deborah says, speaking of, I bought myself a baby doll. Never had one as a child. My inner little was touched. That's so awesome, Deborah. Oh, I have a really cool story to tell you guys. So I have a wonderful new friend that I've made in our community. And um, in hearing about some of the, the situations that I've discussed here on YouTube and just on our daily calls, and just in our community, she actually sent 
sent to me a doll that was that was the doll that I always wanted when I was a little girl and I never got the doll. Like a book bag with a picture of the doll on it. And um, it was a shortcake. And, and then um, someone in my family saw that I was really excited about the strawberry shortcake book bag and they made sure that it got thrown out in the garbage with all the wrapping paper. And so I never, ever, ever got to like use the book bag. It was so traumatizing. And so this wonderful woman sent me a strawberry shortcake doll and I just love it so much. I love her. She is so cute. She sits on my shelf next to my uh, my guardian angel teddy bear that Joey sent. Thank you, Joey. I love my little bear. She sits next to the strawberry shortcake doll now. Jeffrey Sherman says, this group, this community is great for me. Listening to Mama Bear Athena is my self-care. Oh, that's so awesome. High five, Jeffrey. High five. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, Deborah says, Joey, that's too cold for my bones. <laughs> oh, I, I guess somebody may have gone swimming and it was like really cold out or something. Uh, Firestar says, I'm working on putting together a whole health journal. Mind, body, soul, mental, physical. Ooh, that's awesome. I have something very similar, Firestar. I have something very, 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 very similar. That's so awesome. And when we... Um, when we address everything that we're doing with our self-care from a five-prong perspective, meaning it's like, you know, your emotional well-being, your physical well-being, your financial well-being, your spiritual well-being, and your relational well-being, like that's the way that, that true lasting healing happens. It's so beautiful. So awesome. That's so great. Ooh, Elise says... Knitting helps too. It's a nice pair of socks. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. I love that, Elise. I don't know how to knit. I know how to crochet, like kind of just a little bit, but I don't know how to knit. Um, Christy Q is a great uh, crochet person. I don't know if she knows how to knit as well as crochet, but um, but I love, I love uh, crocheting. It's very, very relaxing. Joey says, it is going to get colder, Deborah. It's supposed to be down to negative 40 on Wednesday. Oh my goodness, 40 below. Sharon says, scuba diving. Scuba diving here. I love looking up at the sun, speaking through the water, ref uh, peeking through the water reflections. That's so awesome. How beautiful. That's so great, Sharon. So what else, guys? What do you love to do for self-care? What helps you feel uh, feel better overall, mentally, emotionally, physically, relationally, financially, spiritually? Uh, Deb uh, Sh Shannon says, Deborah, I purchased a life-sized baby doll for myself at Christmas. I love dolls as a child, and I always wanted a doll that could wear real baby clothes. Oh, that is so cool. Hey, Declan. Declan, we're talking about self-care. We're sharing our self-care strategies. Declan says, hi, everyone. Hi, Ashton. Hi, Poppy's Mission. Lots of highs and hellos to Declan. Oh, Deborah says, Joey. Burr, please don't freeze. That's 40 below, seriously. Joey says, my bones are really aching, so I hear you about the cold. <gasps> oh no. Up Yours Narc says, coloring is helpful as it take as is taking art class. Getting lost in the creation of something is awesome. It doesn't matter if it's any good. I definitely agree with Up Yours Narc, for sure. Uh, when we are able to be creative in any way, it really helps. Oops. It says, ooh, it's the biggest help in my recovery journey has been every single one of you. Oh, that's so awesome. Yes, this community is amazing. This community is absolutely incredible. I agree. Rhonda says, Jeffrey Sherman. So very true. Group communities are wonderful. Shannon says, I find I feel better when I do organization and cleaning tasks, but it takes a lot of energy for me to work up to these tasks. 
to get these uh, get these tasks started. I agree. I do feel much better when I'm really organized, um, and and I'm like like my house is tidy and my workspace is tidy and everything. But it takes a lot of energy. And like right now, I feel like I'm kind of like running on empty a little bit. I'm juggling a lot. I have a lot going on just personally and professionally. And it's just hard, you know. August says, I like doing Bible studies too. Yes. One of my um, things that I do for self-care every single day, August, is my husband and I have Bible study together every single morning. And we have a cup of coffee together. It's so awesome. Like, we'll just read, like, sometimes we'll read Psalms, um, but for sure, every day we read Proverbs, and it's just really a wonderful um, best practice for for me and for him, and we both enjoy that. We have a, you know, that's a place where we, where we connect. Hey, hello, Vi, we're talking about self-care, talking about ways we practice self-care, what works for us, what are some of the best self-care practices we can share with one another. Declan's saying hi to everybody. Sharon says, I bought a teddy bear this past week and this, this is awesome. It's a 0123 learning light up bear trying to get in touch with my littles. I have to protect her from, from my puppy. She wants to rip her apart. Oh no. Definitely protect your little bear from your puppy for sure. That's so awesome, Sharon. I love those. I, I remember the little like Teddy Ruxpin or whatever it was. I remember that that was like a popular thing when I was younger. Aww. Sharon says, I tell her that she has to kiss and love our little girl. Yes, she does. Your puppy needs to kiss and love the little girl for sure. Lots of highs and hello. Sharon says that Sharon says that crochet. I love crocheting. I haven't made anything in years, but I really want to get back into doing some artsy crafty type stuff. Joey says my therapist is going to teach me how to crochet for one of my coping skills. Yes. Skills. So awesome, Joey. So great, Sharon. Hunter says drawing helps me escape. I love drawing. I love all of that. Oh, Sharon says, anything adrenaline-based. <laughs> what types of adrenaline-based things do you like, Sharon? What types of adrenaline-based things are, are great forms of self-care for you? Are we talking like running, jogging? Are we talking like motocross, uh, extreme skateboarding or downhill skiing or jumping out of airplanes or race car driving, like what type of adrenaline based stuff? Vi says for, um, for self care, I make myself nice dinners and I'm eating one right now. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. That sounds delicious. What else you guys, what other types of self care? Declan says, self-care, using and developing kindness and strength. Oh, that's so awesome. I agree, Declan. Developing kindness and strength. Those are things that all of us can do to take care of ourselves. Deborah says, I do woodworking. I refurbish furniture and I resell it. That is so awesome. I always wished I knew how to do that. I think Matt had a, Matt's sister actually um, does that or she used to. That's so awesome. Ooh, Shannon says, I love knitting. I love to design my own projects. That's so awesome. Up Yours Narc says, drawing is so relaxing. What else, guys? What other types of self-care? Uh, Ashen says, it was so graciously led to the endless resources, knowledge, care, support, and direction of Athena <laughs> in this beautiful community in the beginning of my recovery journey. You all are, you all are my deep breath. Oh, Ashton, that is amazing. Oh, I'm sending you like the biggest virtual hug. I might have needed to hear that. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Poppy says, OMG, it's so hot in Australia. I'm hanging out for cold weather. 
Vi says, I do paintings too. Yes, you do, Vi. You do beautiful paintings. Poppy, it's hot here also. I would love some cold weather as well. Oh, Joey says, Play-Doh is fun and it's a good stress reliever. Make molds and then smash the heck out of them. <laughs> yes, I agree. Oh, I haven't done Play-Doh in so long. John Harvey says, models can be fun too, especially old ship models, like, like putting together models of old ships. That's so cool. Shannon says, crochet is wonderful too. Up yours, Narc says, painting is a great way to relax. Ooh, so awesome. Nora says, just being outdoors. I love playing golf. So when, that's my husband's self-care, you guys. My husband goes out. He's a, my husband is a combination between, uh, between Sharon and Nora. He loves scuba diving, he loves swimming, he loves being at the beach, but he also loves golf. That's his self-care. Uh, Nora says, so I love playing golf, so when I need an outlet, I go to the driving range and I hit those balls as hard as I can and I'm exhausted, until I'm exhausted. That's amazing. That is so cool. I always ask him, like, did you play well? Did you have fun? And he's like, I played horribly, but I had fun. <laughs> Up yours, Narc says, Play-Doh, that sounds like fun. Nexus, hi, Nexus, I haven't seen you. It's so good to see you. Nexus says, these are great ideas for self-care. Declan says, how to have fun with a thermometer. <laughs> uh, I know, right? Finding out how cold it is outside. My husband used to have a thermometer that he would leave out on out on our patio so that he would know what, what temperature it was at any, on any given day. I'm like, honey, you know, there's an app for that. Like, they have apps on the phone for that. <laughs> so now he's always on the weather app. He loves the weather app. Shannon says, Nora, that sounds like great fun. My dad loved golf. Ooh, Vi says it's 17 degrees here. Joey, I think Joey wins today uh probably just for the moment just because it was like negative what is it like negative 40 or something that's crazy nora says daily prayer is always on my agenda it starts the day out well i definitely agree nora i pray for all of you guys too my husband <laughs> even when i forget because i'm all wrapped up and wound up in my own trauma recovery journey and all of my own junk my husband's always praying for you guys he never forgets because he doesn't have complex trauma that he's healing. Like he has life, but he doesn't, he's not healing complex trauma. So he doesn't forget or get overwhelmed. Like he's just steady Eddie. He just takes every day as it comes. It's like amazing to me. Ashton said, fun facts are also self-care for me. I love trivia. Oh my gosh. You guys, have you ever been to one of those restaurants where they have those little trivia games that you play with like other people around the restaurant? <laughs> they don't have them here where I live, but like, you know, 10, 15 years, maybe 15, 16 years ago, I remember doing that with, with my son. It was so fun. That sounds like so much fun, Ashton. I do love, I do love daily prayer, Nora. It's definitely the way I start the day. Vi says, I watch Looney Tunes on Saturday mornings while eating my cereal. Oh, that sounds so amazing. Oh, oh that sounds so nice. I want to think when I can helps to de-stress. <gasps> oh, sounds so awesome, you guys. A nap. I think I might take a nap after this video. Like, seriously, I think that's why I'm like doing this self-care video today because I really think I need to remember that self-care is a good situation. You know, it's a good thing to just remind us. Poppy says, organized and color-coded closet linen cupboard is is heavenly <laughs> i love organization too it takes a lot of energy though like it's very energy inducing like it's a gift that keeps on giving but it takes me a lot of energy to like get to that place you know what i mean so you can come organize mine poppy i'll pay you i'll like I don't know if I can afford to fly you here because you're all the way in Australia, but man, could I use some help organizing because when I'm disorganized, it's kind of stressful. Ooh, John Harvey says, Ashton, I love trivia too. Ooh, Ashton loves roller coasters and climbing trees. 
skis. Sharon, Sharon says skydiving, running, mud runs, skiing, kayaking, whitewater kayaking, zip line. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. <gasps> These are all great, great, great forms of self care, you guys. Shannon says, I recently remembered that I loved getting up early on Saturday to watch cartoons and eat Captain Crunch. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, you know what? Captain Crunch, I used to have to let it sit in the bowl. Like, I wasn't ever allowed to have it when I was little. So when I was raising my son, I would buy it for us. And I would have to let mine sit in the bowl until it got a little bit soggy because it would eat up the roof of my mouth. And I was like, maybe it's just because I'm old. Like, my son never complained about it eating up the roof of his mouth. You know what I mean? I think it's just because I'm old. <laughs> I think that's what's really going on. That's so awesome, Shannon. Ashton says, yes, we're so frequently on the same page, John Harvey. You are. You guys are on the same page a lot. Nexus says, I love this community. It helps so much. Oh, I'm so glad. You guys, this community is my life. This is like, oh, like there should, I should make myself a shirt. Community is life. That's what I should do. Vi says, I show up for myself on a daily basis healing by book or by daily calls or by CPTSD foundation. Oh, Vi, you're like a poster child. That's amazing. I'm screenshotting this hold on there we go sorry about my finger you guys <laughs> that's so awesome oh that's so cool oh you guys are amazing now now for some reason it took me back like where is it where did it go here we go so John Harvey says, I play those trivia games at times and it is so, it's fun to learn new things. I agree. Ooh, Rhonda says Pinterest. Pinterest is one of those things that I have a love-hate relationship with. I love Pinterest for self-care, but trying to learn how to do Pinterest for like the foundation. Like if anyone out there is a Pinterest guru, like I need help because I do not know. Like I need somebody to take over the Pinterest and just make pins, make pins, pin the pins, make the pins, pin the pins, find the pins, pin the pins, you know? Ooh, Vi says walking in the woods. That's so awesome. For my anniversary and my birthday every year, I go up to the volcano and I walk around in the mountains. I love walking in the mountains. I love hiking. I love being up where it's nice and cool. It's 10,023 feet up there. So the air is thinner. It is just so glorious and beautiful and chilly. And I get to wear cute boots and jeans. And oh, I just love it. Ooh, Sharon says, I like shooting at the gun range. Matt loves shooting at the gun range. Ashton says, no way. Same. <laughs> I have a couple of apps and I go every Wednesday to a trivia night with some of my friends. John Harvey still talking about trivia. That is so cool. Oh, John Harvey says, Poppy, you must be very strong because you do help a lot of people. Yes, Poppy, you do help a lot of people and you are very strong. Nexus says, hello, Athena. Nice to see you all. It is so nice to see you, Nexus. Hello. August says, Pinterest is awesome. If anybody wants to be the Pinterest person, let me know. Please email me, info at cptsdfoundation.org. I need a Pinterest person. We can like provide you with a whole bunch of like pins and things. I just don't know how or like things to make pins out of. I found a girl. <gasps> Sorry for yawning, guys. Like seriously, I need to. I just need to take better care of myself. I'm just running on empty today. We. I just have a lot going on. But there's this girl I met on Instagram, and she. Like she has the most incredible infographics. I love Pinterest because of the infographics and the recipes. Right, the recipes are amazing. I love the recipes. But anyway, I'm like. Do you, are you like an infographic professional? Like how are like, she says, no, I just like to, I just like to take information that I know and make it to be easily. Uh, what's, what are some more self-care things that you guys do? You guys, what are some other things that you love to do for self-care? 
what do you love to do? What helps you feel grounded and feel better and feel more rested and feel connected with yourself or with nature or just what helps you to feel more whole? Ashton says, watching the morning sun stream in, soft lighting in the evening with yummy smelling candles. Oh my gosh, Ashton, you just described my life. I love waking up before the sunrise. I love it so much. And the soft lighting in the evening is really beautiful. And I do have great smelling candles. So yes, I'm all about thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up for all of that. What else you guys? What are some more self, what are some other things that you do to take care of yourself in the midst of healing from, from complex trauma, from adverse childhood experiences? We need to take really good care of ourselves. Ooh, Deborah says archery and you missed my other one. Oh no, I didn't mean to miss it. Go ahead and, and, and retype it. I missed it. I, I, if I go back, I'll never find my place again. Totally not intentional. Please repost it. Uh, Poppy says it is 45 degrees Celsius here. I think that's like 113 Fahrenheit. Oh my gosh, that's really, really, really hot. That's so hot. Ashton says, Joey, just remember on Wednesday, both the States and Canada will both be saying it's negative 40 outside. North America, unite. <laughs> Seriously, it's going to be really, 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 really cold on Wednesday for sure. You're absolutely right, Ashton. I hope you all stay warm. Sharon says, I love playing with my pup. And I love technology. Oh, there's a bird. Did you see one of my birdies? Um, Sharon says, I love technology. Oh no. Oh no. Come back. Oh. oh, here we go. I love playing with my pup and I love technology. Also, I color by number on an app. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Some other self-care strategies, you guys. Nora, just being here every Monday and learning all the things Athena has for us, learning how to heal. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Yes. I love being here with you guys. This is a part of my own healing journey. This is a part of my own self-care. Up yours, Narc says, LOL, Pinterest. I love it. But how many things can you put in a mason jar? <laughs> You're talking to the girl that drinks out of mason jars, puts candles in mason jars, stores her smoothies in mason jars. I have little, I have mason jars of every size. I have little baby ones to put dressing in. I make homemade dressings. Um, I'll give you my most like favorite homemade dressing if you want. Like I love learning how to cook since I was never taught when I was little and I didn't have food, like enough food. So that's kind of self-care for me, you guys. Taking really good care of myself, learning how to cook. Definitely. I love that. <laughs> Up your snark. <laughs> I love that. The answer to how many things can you put in a mason jar is everything. You could put everything in a mason jar. Kira says, I love Saturday morning cartoons in my PJs eating cereal. Yes, you and Vi. Invite me over. Let's have a slumber party. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Joey says, plastic canvas. It's like needlepoint, but the plastic canvas is a bigger canvas to work with. That's so cool. Oh, <laughs> Vi says, I dog sit to get my animal fix and I make extra money that way too. That's so cool. Kira says, I love trivia night. Yay. Deborah, let me know what I missed, by the way. I don't want to miss it on purpose. Like, I mean, it wasn't on purpose, but I don't want to miss it again. So Deborah, let me know what I missed. Joey says, by the way, Athena, how is your husband's friend? I've been praying for him. E He's out of ICU. He's not doing well. He's healing, but he's not doing extremely well. I really appreciate you praying. And then you guys, um, for those of you who I had been in touch with and that had responded to a prayer request that I had for, um, for my friend's brother, he actually passed away. And um, I really appreciate the prayers. It, there's just so much going on, you guys. Like, there's so much going on. Like, life is very fragile. I mean, my cousin just lost a friend again today. Um, 
a health coach just lost a, her and her husband just lost a friend they just had the celebration of life ceremony yesterday it's like oh my gosh there's just so much death and so much trauma and so much going on i really appreciate you guys asking though and just being a source of support and kindness kira says hi joey that sounds like a great coping skill so cool your therapist knows how to crochet that is so cool John Harvey says, Poppy, this place is one plane ride away and the animals eat you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where are you located, John Harvey? I know Poppy in Australia. Is John John Harvey, are you in New Zealand? Like, where are you, John Harvey? Let me know. Um, and if you've told me before, I'm so sorry. I wanted to say you were in the Midwest. John Harvey, I thought you were in the Midwest. Ashton says, John Harvey, I was scrolling to make sure I read what everyone responded and saw that needless to say, I almost spat out my water. <laughs> Tabby Boss says, I do things that are comforting and calming, like wrap up in blankets, hold soft stuffies and stuff like that. That sounds so comforting, Tabby Ba. Ooh, Deborah Herendeen says, Hugging a tree while barefoot. Oh, oh, that sounds so grounding. Oh my goodness. Kira says, Hunter, I love your drawings and I love drawing too. Uh, Deborah says, helping mothers bond and attach to their children by learning coping skills that weren't exampled by exampled while they were growing up near speaking near near speaking that is so wonderful deborah that you're helping other mothers do that that is such an a necessary thing i've done some talks at the mops groups around here uh, just ways that moms can connect with their kids and like, I mean, this was years ago before I started doing complex trauma recovery, but just speaking to the moms and letting them know how they can, um, you know, prevent their children from growing up in an environment, like the things they can do to intervene and, and be fully present for their kids. I think that's super important. Um, Vi says, I take vitamins and I eat, a, I eat well, balanced food and drink lots of water. That's amazing, Vi. You're doing all the things. That is wonderful. Sharon says, I take my vitamins because I deserve them. Yes. Hashtag because we are worth it. Yes, you are. You do deserve them. You are worth it. Hunter says, I have a soothing playlist for when I am in child mode. That is so helpful, Hunter. That is wonderful. John Harvey says, Kira, how have you been doing? <laughs> um, Ashton says, playing with my pup, Fur Warrior. Also, OMG peeps, he is so big now. I will post on the Facebook page. Yes, please do. Let us know how big your pup is. Declan says, you can get bitten by a mosquito in the south of England if it is a hot summer. You can find a red ant too if you look hard. <laughs> oh, we have way too many mosquitoes here and we do have ants as well. I don't know what color they are, but I do not like mosquitoes and I do not like red ants. Uh, Vi says, I take a TY baby stuffed animal little lion named Mango on all of my trips, even just weekend trips, and I take pictures of him everywhere we go, and I post it on Facebook and on Instagram. That is so cool. Yes, Mango. Ah, trivia night. Trivia is a bit, I think trivia might win today, you guys. Trivia is something so many people love. Oh, oh, Poppy says one of the things that she does for research, does for self-care, she loves to nerd out on research. Yes! 
nerds unite. That is me. I nerd out on research all the time. Oh, seriously. Hi, Desi Pink. Oh, Desi Pink says, hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late tonight. I've been recovering from the flu. And finally, the cough mostly gone. I'm so sorry you're recovering from the flu. Ooh, John Harvey says, I live in Arkansas. I knew you were somewhere, like, you know, there was a meetup. Like, you had gotten to meet up with a couple of people in our community. I've never been to Arkansas. But I have looked into rental properties there in Fayetteville because it is a college town and I would love to be able to have like an investment property where I could rent it to college students and have it be like a source of income. So my husband and I are discussing like saving up and trying to buy like a rental property and we chose Fayetteville, Arkansas. Whoops. Sorry guys. My bad. I'm trying to find all the comments here. Um, we're, we're trying to find places that are really affordable and safe. Safest, most affordable on the internet when we've done all of our research on where to buy a rental property so that we can, you know, rent to people and, and you know, have an investment for ourselves. Um, Fayetteville, Arkansas came up close to the top of the list. Interestingly, there's some trivia for you. Sharon says, I do love my weighted blanket and audible books. I'm with you, Sharon. Seriously. I love audible. Elise says, sorry, you're experiencing so much loss, Athena. It's hard to see people hurt. You're in my prayers. Thank you, Elise. It is hard. It is really hard. I'm, my life is sort of like changing right now. It's very, very different than it than it was, I don't know, even just recently. And I'm trying to deal with it all and just do some things differently and embrace certain things and not force myself to, you know, do too many things. Like I'm feeling a little bit run down and I'm gonna take a nap after this video. And maybe I'm gonna take myself to the movies tomorrow. I have no idea. I need to do some things though. I need to figure it out. So Desi Pink says, by the way, there is an awesome app called Art Rage. I think it's free, but I'm not sure. And it simulates real paint and texture really well. It's very soothing. Highly recommend with soft music on. That's a great act of self-care, Desi Pink. I love it. Sharon says, my pup is 95 pounds of kisses and hugs. <laughs> By the way, she does not eat my little. <laughs> Aww. Kira says, Desi Pink, I hope you feel better soon. When I was sick last March, my cough took over two weeks to go away. Oh my goodness. You guys feel better. Take really good care of yourself, Desi Pink. And stay really safe in all this cold weather, you all. Joey says, having a Scentsy Buddy, a stuffed animal with a pouch to where you can put your favorite scent pack. That's a great act of self-care. Ooh, Sharon says, I love my karaoke machine. Oh, that is so cool. I love singing. I haven't done karaoke, like, like real karaoke before, but maybe when I was like younger, like when my son was little, I did, but I haven't done it in like 15, 20 years. Like, I don't even know if it counts, but I would love to try. I think it would be really, really fun. Vi says, my little stuffed animal, Mango, helped me through my cancer journey and started a revolution at the cancer treatment center. Now the chemo nurses give out TY babies to their patients. That's so cool. Oh, see, your act of self-care is like you paid it forward. That's amazing. Desi Pink says, Sharon, pups are so comforting. They naturally feel when we need hugs. That's so awesome. Hunter says, I hate mosquitoes with a passion. Yeah, me too. That's why I won't go to Minnesota with my husband anymore. What's one of the reasons? No, thank you. I went and I got bit and then I got scars from my bites and then I went back again and I got scars on top of my scar, or bites on top of my scars and then scars on top of my scars and now I still have scars. And my legs are ugly now. Like I have like dots and big, huge scars everywhere. It's just horrible. I'm like, no, never, sorry. Um, 
I'm with you, Hunter. I hate mosquitoes with a passion. And in Minnesota, like they call the mosquito the state bird because they're so huge. Ashton says, John Harvey, I love games. I love them, love them, 100% self-care. I know I love games. I love board games, you guys, and card games. I love it. You see one of my little birdies? Look at one of my little birdies that just flew and landed on the little tree. Oh, he's so cute. Nora says, once a month, I use a sick day from work and I have a play day. It's great self-care. Last couple minutes, guys. We have like two or three minutes left. What do you do for self-care? Let's ring it in. Kira says, Joey, a scented stuffed animal sounds wonderful. Vi loves to nerd out on research with us. Nerds unite. Yes, research. Ashton, there's lots of us. Ooh, and Deborah. Ooh, yes, nerds are cool. You're right, John Harvey. I'm such a nerd. Nerds unite. Yes. Ooh, we have lots of nerds here, my fellow peeps. <laughs> Deborah says, I have a weird thing about reading journal articles. No, that's not weird. That's called self care. <laughs> it's so wonderful. Ooh, August loves board games and animals. We all love animals. Deborah says, I carry a special stone with me to counseling. I love it. Ooh, Sharon says, I love the 5,000 piece Big Ben puzzle when I'm stressed out. Huge Lego set. Yes. Yes. I love Legos. I used to play Legos with my son. Up Yours Narc says, Athena, rental properties are a great investment. The college students as a tenant may be tough unless parents pay and you take a sizable deposit. Damage tends to be a problem. Oh, you're right. It just looked like such a safe town and so affordable. And like, we've been trying to like, you know, look into like ways that we can be smart, you know, cause my husband is 20 years older than me. And so I want him to retire and I want to, I'm going to become the primary person, you know, and I can't be the primary wage earner running in like a nonprofit organization. It's hard. Um, Vi says, drink lots of H2O, Desi. I was sick all last week. I'm better now. I just slept and drank water. Yes. Please take care of yourselves, you guys. John Harvey says, I love to sing, but nobody would like to hear me sing, LOL. I would like to hear you sing. <laughs> Deborah says, tonight is self-care for me. It's self-care for me too, you guys. Kira says, I'm a mosquito magnet. I have scars on my legs from the bites. Yes, seriously, it's horrible. Shannon says, research is my thing too. Yes. Yes. You guys, this was so awesome. You guys, this was so great. Oh, there's so much. Thank you all so much. Please be extra gentle and kind to yourselves. Um, just practice really good self-care. Take some of these things. Um, that that we talked about tonight and just pick one and think about it you don't even have to do it just pick one thing that resonated with you and think about it and just know that i'm holding this space for you and we can talk about it again okay and if this video was um helpful for you or you think it might be helpful for someone else it would mean a lot to me if you gave this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to this channel um and if you click the bell notification you'll know like whenever i post stuff like whether it's a little image post or if it is uh like uh, if i go live or if i post a video um yeah so it mean a lot to me if you guys did that. And oh, I think a, I think a whale just jumped. You. I don't know if you could see. It. I don't know if you could see it. But anyway, okay. I'm sending you all lots of love. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you again next week, same time, same place, every single Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Dating all the way back to 2014. This is what we've been doing, and we're going to continue to do it. So. Be kind and gentle to yourselves and thank you so much for allowing me to be in your life.